Well, how are we doing out there? I hope you're all absolutely spot on. And thank you very much for watching this video. Now, I've been shopping. I've been to Aldi. Come and have a look what I bought. <laughs> Inspired Cuisine Roast Chicken Dinner. New recipe. So it said it was new, so I had to buy it. And it was £1.19. So it's been a long time since I've had a frozen roast dinner before. It took me back, it took me back over 20 years. Um, I was, I just split up from a relationship back in 1999. And um, I was living in a flat in town. So I didn't have anything, I didn't have a job. I didn't have a relationship. I didn't have a car. I didn't have nothing. All I had was my television from when I was in the army in Germany and a bin bag full of clothes. I didn't have nothing. I was really low. <clears throat> I used to go to Aldi and I used to buy these. <laughs> and I used to have them for my lunch or my tea. So it took me back and I had to get it for nostalgia reasons. Not particularly a nice, pleasant time of my life, I'll be honest. But then I met my good lady after that and she dragged me out of the hole. She was like a ray of light pulling me out of this black hole that I was in. And I was 26 and I was drinking heavily and I was in a bad way. So there's a good ending to the story. My good lady sort of dragged me out of this black hole. So let's have a look and see what we've got. So I'm going to have this, I'm going to put some um, gravy on. Oh, <laughs> hey, there it is. It hasn't changed much really. That is that. Let me get a bit of better light for you. There we go. <laughs> oh, this takes me back. So let's have a look, see how long it takes to microwave or oven cook. I always used to zap mine in the microwave. Um, so you can do them in the oven. Directions for use, cook from frozen. Do them in the oven for 25 minutes. Fan 180, electric 200. Um, or you can do them in the microwave. I think I'll do this in the oven. And get some gravy on then. I know there's, gra there's gravy in it, but I'm going to add some extra. So there's the ingredients. If you'd like to have a look at them, you can pause it. And there's the nutritional value if you'd like to have a look at that and pause that as well. And that's what it tells you there. It says steamed cooked skinless chicken breast in gravy with roast potatoes, peas, sliced carrots and a sage and onion stuffing ball. 400 grams. So I'm going to get the oven on. Should have had it on really, shouldn't I? Still by error. What I'll do, I'll bring it back when it's done. So it's not done, but as, like everything I do, don't read the instructions properly. So I just started to read them, and it's going to take me 45 minutes in the oven. So I ain't going in the oven. No, for four, 45 minutes. I'm, I'm hungry now, I want it. So I'm going to do it how I used to do them, in the microwave. Because <laughs> that only takes five and a half minutes. So don't have a go. I know it'll be better in the oven, but there's a bit of a procedure in the oven, and I'm not. I'm not waiting. I'm not wasting 45 minutes just for this one meal in the oven. It's going to go in the microwave, and that's that. <laughs> so it's done. Took me nine minutes in the microwave. Basically, you have to pierce the film lid over the chicken and the vegetable compartment. Do that for five minutes. Um. And obviously, peel the other bit off, but take the roast potatoes and the stuffing out. So that so you microwave it basically with the, the chicken and the veg for five minutes, and then once the five minutes are up, put the um, put the potatoes and the stuffing in the compartment, and do it for another four minutes. So it's had nine minutes. And I used to have the um, roast beef. They were roast beef dinners, I remember. Can't remember how much they were. It was 20, 22 years ago. <clears throat> my dad still has these 
my dad still has these, loves them. Well, he used to, he used to still eat them. But he took me right back, you know. So if you kind of like this content, please give the video a thumbs up. And if you've not already subscribed to the channel, maybe subscribe because that really does help. So let's have a look at this food. There we go. I used to, I used to eat out the bowl. I used to just eat out of this as well. I never used to, um, because I, I just couldn't be bothered washing up, you know, I was <clears throat> 26, single. <laughs> so let's, let's do it civilised here now. We're, you know, I'm 49 now, so I can go a bit more civilised, I suppose. I didn't, I didn't really know anything at 26, to be fair, like. I just got out of the army. And, uh, well, the army do everything for you, don't they? Get it all out. Put that to one side. So that's your dinner. Your roast beef dinner. One pound and nineteen. Well, there's nothing wrong. Make some gravy up. And I used to do some. I used to have to get some Aunt Bessie's frozen Yorkshire puddings and do them as well. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's not like a Sunday roast that you'd have it. You know, at your mum's like, is it? It's not like that at all. So I've got some, I've got some of that as well, mint sauce, because I do like mint sauce. I'm getting some healthy vegetables in me as well, so that's going to be, it's going to be crazy. So let's get this chicken cut. It's a chicken breast as well, you know. So you're getting a chicken breast. Let's try the chicken breast. Let's try that. Look. Well, the good thing is it does taste of chicken. That might be a bit of a, a shock, but sometimes you, you get it and it doesn't taste of anything, but that does taste of chicken. It's a bit dry, but, you, you know, it's been in the microwave. <laughs> you know, and you're getting gravy and the stuffing. I, I used to love the stuffing balls as well. I used to love the stuffing balls. Let's try a potato. There we go. There's the potatoes here. all right it's potato it's not very flavoursome to be fair it's cooked all the way through there's no hard bits no so it's cooked the stuffing mm. stuffing it's not particularly flavoursome. It's a bit claggy as well. But you know, when you mix it all in with this, let's try a bit of peas and carrots as well. Look. You could douse it in salt and pepper, couldn't you as well? But I put a load of mint sauce over mine and gravy. Some Aunt Bessie's Yorkshire puddings. Great when you when you're living on your own. Gravy's all right as well. It's got like a sweet sweetness to it, like a sweet texture. It's all right. I mean, it's nothing special. It's not going to be one pound and nineteen pence, is it? You know, but just stick a bit of your own gravy over it. Look. Bit of your own gravy. Where's my spoon? I did have a spoon around here. Oh, using it in my brew. Get a bit of mint sauce over it. Do like a bit of mint sauce, I'll be honest. There we go. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. I mean, 
There's no unpleasant tastes in there as well. It all, it's all cooked as well. Tastes all right to me. Nothing wrong with that. I tell you, if circumstances were different, yeah, I'd be eating a lot of them. I would be eating a lot of them. But circumstances have changed for me now. I would buy it again, and I'd do it in the oven. Do it in the oven, but I'm not wasting 45 minutes just for that one meal. <laughs> Make your own gravy up. Get some Aunt Bessie's Yorkshire puddings, or some, you know, Aldi's own, or cheaper ones. They're all right once you've got all the gravy over them. They're spot on, aren't they? It's a good seven and a half out of ten. A good seven and a half out of ten for me. So thank you very much, and all the best, and take care, and I'll catch you on the next one.